We present How Does It Feel, a self-supervised COSMAP learning method for off-road vehicle traversability. Our learned COSMAPs provide the robot a fine-grained understanding of the traversability properties of different terrains. Our self-supervised method associates a proprioception-derived cost to high-dimensional visual and geometric data, as well as parameterized robot velocity to produce continuous COSMAPs. Without needing any explicit semantic information, our method is able to distinguish between grass, gravel, and trails, and prefers to stay in the smooth trails. Our learned COSMAPs are also velocity-aware, taking as input the four-year parameterized velocity of the robot. In general, our learned COSMAPs predict higher costs when driving at higher velocities, which matches our human intuition. We now describe our baseline navigation stack, which consists of a lethal height geometric COSMAP. We use a z-axis data from a LiDAR point cloud, which is registered using odometry film SLAM, to generate a lethal height COSMAP. The lethal height cost map is directly used to optimize trajectories using MPPI, a sample-based model predictive control algorithm. However, lethal height cost maps are not very expressive, and the navigation behaviors are heavily affected by the chosen threshold. With a low threshold, they restrict the full navigation capabilities of the robot. For example, tall grass becomes lethal and therefore not traversable. With a high threshold, they show no distinction in cost between different terrains of the same height, but with different properties, making all of these terrains equally traversable. We now present an overview of our system. First, we process the raw stereo images to obtain top-down RGB maps and height maps using stereo matching and tartan VO. Then, during training, we extract patches from these top-down maps along a trajectory, as well as the corresponding robot velocity and we pass them through a Resident 18 and an MLP, respectively. We predict the continuous traversability cost from the concatenated map and velocity features, from which we calculate the L2 loss against pseudo-ground truth values obtained from IMU linear acceleration data. During testing, the whole map is sampled uniformly into small patches, which are fed into the network to generate a continuous cost map. We now present one of our short-scale experiments. In this experiment, the goal of the robot is to drive 200 meters straight ahead. For our baseline, we use a geometric occupancy-based cost map with a height threshold of 1.5 meters. Since everything appears as non-lethal using the baseline cost map, the robot takes the shortest path and drives through the grass. Our method combines our learned cost maps with the baseline cost map, which is only used for object avoidance of very large obstacles. With our method, the robot steers around the patch of grass, since grass has a higher predicted cost than the dirt path. Note that the left part of the trail, covered with loose gravel, has a higher predicted cost than the smooth part of the trail on the right. Now, we show some snippets from our large-scale navigation trials. With the baseline cost map, the robot does not distinguish between different terrains of the same height, and cuts a corner to get to the waypoint faster. However, this corner is too tight and leads to an intervention. With our cost maps, the robot takes a wider turn in order to avoid vegetation and rough terrain, which leads to the robot taking a better line through the turn. On the green course, which contains more vegetation and tight paths, the baseline cost map again leads to an intervention, since it tries to take a turn through vegetation. Our cost maps lead the robot to prefer the smooth dirt path, which results in the robot taking a wider turn that prevents an intervention from happening. We now show results on a different robot, a ClearPath Warthog UGV. The first task is to reach a goal 50 meters down a concrete path. The basic navigation stack cuts directly through the grass to reach the goal, since it does not reason about the traversability of different types of terrain. Using our learned cost maps, the robot reasons that asphalt is smoother than grass, and it remains on the asphalt to reach the goal.
On the first fork course, the robot must choose between two paths to reach the goal. Note that the path on the left is covered with small obstacles, while the path on the right is smooth and clear. With the basic navigation stack, the robot chooses the cluttered, rough path on the left more often than the smooth path on the right. With our cost maps, the robot consistently chooses the smooth path on the right more often than the rough path on the left. For more information on full experiment videos, visit our website.